and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fizz Swain. That's right, we got got a new deck here that we're going to be uh, playing. This was a donation deck where we had a, a viewer donate to for me to build a deck with both Fizz and Swain in it, and I really like how this turned out. It basically, kind of combined the Sejuani Swain deck that we play in, like the Noxus cards from that, and then a lot of Bilgewater cards um, from like the Twisted Fizz decks that we play, and kind of combined those together, and we got a pretty sweet one. So we have, uh, we do still have some of the Steel cards, you know, Black Market Merchant and Pilfered Goods are basically just too too good not to play. So we got those, and Yordle Grifter as well. But then we pair those with a lot of aggressive elements from Noxus, especially the Crimson Disciple imperial demolitionist combo so you know we have like our, our different like packages of cards kind of put together we have some aggressive elements here with our, our one drops like fizz you know can be a, a good one drop that we can turn elusive when it replace uh spells help us get additional damage across um and uh yeah and then you know then we have at the top end we got our swain we have leviathan to grab swain and so on zap spray fin gets us one of these spells we just have a, a, a few different um spells depending on the situation that we that we need you know might is a great way to give swain overwhelm but you really only just want that one and we have different removal with you know fervor and guillotine for different situations of course the make it rains um are in here and parlay so yeah that's kind of our deck we got got just a, a wide variety of stuff put together and I like it. It's a, it's a good proactive um, deck. So here we go. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked. Let's have some fun. If there's something about the deck is like, I wish, I kind of wish we could have more spells in here. Like more removal, more damage. Played, you know, played a few games with it. And there are times where it is difficult to level up Swain. Maybe there needs to be the third Noxion Fervor in here. I'm definitely mulliganing the might. I think I keep the rest of these. Let me show you what I can do. Boo. That's gonna slow me down a bunch. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. For the Empire. Yeah, I think we're playing Yordle Grifter. I'm not greedy. My friends. No, I missed. Silent as death. Strike at their foundations. If they block with the one three on the two three. Okay, they didn't. I was gonna say if they did, should I transfusion? So I could play Fizz, they attack, I could Transfusion, do one damage to one of these things, pump Fizz to be a 4-3 and block. Kind of feels like too much work, though, or not enough payoff. Safety will cost you. Oh, come on, we have another Noxus card? Missed again. Yep, yep, yep. 
and they would have just returned their Shadow Assassin if I would have done that anyway. this draggling. Definitely hurts if both both Yordle Grifters missed. Be nice to have another two cards of theirs in hand right now. Double jury rig rummage. Living the life. That's what we call living the life right there. Double jury rig. Must be nice. With the rummage. Gonna take out this thing that's gonna keep giving them Blah. I think I was gonna keep giving them the draglings. This game didn't go very good for us. shot next turn to turn it on. Yeah, I have. I've maxed out the regions in the region reward. Hey, Shurika. Hello. So this is going to be taking four total damage. I can keep them both alive with my two transfusions. But then we would summon the Dragling, and then we wouldn't have room to play the Riptide Rex. I think I'm just going to keep this thing alive. I'm going to let the Eye of the Dragon die. Which I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to be going the other way. So four out of six for 
Fizz. 6 out of 12 for Swain. This should level up Swain. Um, yeah, honest, yeah, I'm not sure. The, bo the boost thing is, is for newer players. I'm, I'm not sure really what the boost thing is, honestly. Um, since I've been playing for a while, I didn't, I didn't have that thing. Um, but no, it's not, it's not a bad, it's not a bad grind at all, like, when you compare it to, like, other card games. Like, it's, it's amazing that there are so much rewards that, that you can get, um, when you compare it to, like, other card games that you don't get nearly as much. All right, cleared out the board. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Get up the claw. Clear it out. Reloading. By force of will. Put them down to five. Um, I can put them down to three, or I could. Keep the shark alive. Or I could just not do either. Alright, we need our Yordle Grifter to hit this time. have Karina Veraza in their Karma Ezreal deck. Yuck. I could cast Transfusion and then it, they still kill everything. Yuck. Wish I would have just cast this and dealt free damage now. Ugh, perfect. Hmm. Oh, come on, we missed again? We missed three times on Yordle Grifter. Oh, for three. We have a chance. And try to parlay my Crimson Disciple to do, to do two damage to them. If it works, then we have burst speed with both of these. No. Why can't they just let that happen? We're pretty close to half and half with Bilgewater Noxus. So it's not something that like we're gonna hit every time, but it just it's been pretty poor luck missing every single time. Alright, I'm gonna play this warning shot they know about. I'm not gonna play the transfusion they don't know about. I think we're like 22 and 18 for our split. I will not suffer fools. Your 
papel. Venia needs you to pay up. Went this way, like, if they have Will of Ionia, I want them bouncing Yordle Grifter, not, like, if they want to have Will of Ionia to protect. Um, but we have to block. I can't, I can't take this damage. Man, I wish I just had, I wish they just had some Puff Caps. Down to five cards left. If we were to steal three cards, they would be down to two cards left. That Karina Veraza. I thought we had that until the, the Karina Veraza was just so perfect. Being a you know, clearing out four things and then being the six six that beat us down. That was perfect tech for our, our opponent. It's not a card you see very often in that deck, but that was perfect for him. really want a mulligan swain but i think we do and look for cheaper cards <laughs> yeah you're, you're basically on yeah that's that's true you basically are on a countdown when you're facing uh, karma Basically. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Not that good. Hmm. So they just attack out and pull. You know, with the Vulnerable, they pull the Crimson Disciple in front of the Misfortune. I could try make it rain to kill Misfortune, but the reliable thing would be Noxion Fervor. So, but the thing is, if I'm going to Noxion Fervor anyway, I might as well do that right now. before they get to attack and get one extra point of damage in. I'm not greedy. My friends Oh for four. The ocean charts our core. Up. 
Ever tried playing Sedge Teemo decks in ranked? Yeah. Yeah, it's another one that we could get back to. Um... That's us playing. Called it Puff Cat Plunder. So they do get another attack step with that thing. I don't really want them attacking with that thing again. It's. Pretty big. Hey, Sister Scurrier. That could be great with Swain. Her hand was nice. Her hand was real nice. Very impressive. Sometimes your opponent has it all, you just say good game and go on the next one. Yeah, the championless elusive deck is is definitely budget friendly but it's also good doesn't mean that it's bad because it's budget friendly but it is budget friendly Draven Heimerdinger don't know exactly what Draven Heimerdinger is going to be about I think I'll keep these I don't know I could see make it rain not being too useful but we'll find out. I want to start with the Fizz. That so maybe I can have the Butcher turn into a 3 3. Maybe. I don't really know exactly how we're doing that because I, I can't play Demolitionist when I'm, when I'm starting with Fizz. So maybe this was just a mistake. Hmm. Alright, figured it out. Uh, no, it's the same, yeah, the same as the one from eight days ago, Penguin. It's the same, same deck. I wonder if they're gonna block there in spinning axe. Now we're cooking. Discard something pretty good. Karina Veraza? No. It's a random card to have. Watch and learn. We got wrecked by Karina Veraza. Previously.
unfortunately... We already had our three spell mana, so that attuned didn't help us out. Still the card to play. Reckoning. Going on over here. What seems to be the problem? I'm ready. Hey, buddy, what you doing? All right, I'll I'll trade these. Draven out. Get Draven out of here. All oh, right, well, this is spell mana. to do both of those and level up the Swain. I only got one of those. That's nine. Parlay can do two. So that's 11. So close. Yeah, they kind of have to block with this up Percival, because otherwise you're wiping out a ton of stuff. So that's good, getting that out of here. No. So that's not good. Bone stuck's pretty sweet, though. So this looks like this is lethal. All they have to do is just spinning axe on something I don't block. Games are not going our way. It's Draven time. I can't. Imagine we would do just fine over a long, you know, a long stretch of games in this matchup. But this one. Uh, not 
not so much. Good job of having what what they needed at the time. The Percival's a really underrated card. Five mana, five five elusive, very underrated. Make it rains haven't looked good. I wonder if we need to move away from make it rain it towards some of the noxious spells, but Yordle Grifter still hasn't hit yet. Taking out Bilgewater cards doesn't sound great. Hey, Telford, it's going, going pretty good. Yep, yep, yep. Super excited to play this deck, but nothing's going our way, and we're just losing all of our games, and so that's sad. I'll try anyone. I don't know. I don't know what the story is with the cat that, that's in the sub sub Percival and the you know Catastrophe, the 30-30. I'm not sure what the story is there. Joke debate. That was the worst make it rain we could have. We'll let them play another thing before we make it rain. Eyes blazing, torches. Save the homestead. I'm coming in. Well, I'm wearing a tie. I like this how. Ugh. I like how I look in a tie. That's how I like to present myself. I'm not greedy. My hey, a hit. I will unite the frail That's good that I waited a turn. If I would have cast the Yordle Grifter the previous turn, we would have hit Transfusion. So I would have missed. Still looking very dead right now, but we hit, we hit. Routes closed. <laughs> Our opponents have just been like always curving out perfectly. That's how it's been. That was their first five turns. Yuck. You know, Omen Hawk into the 3 1 that we didn't kill with our Mega Rain, and then Avaroz and Trapper, and then Babbling Beard on 4, and then turn 5, Ash plus 5 5. You're boring. Ugh. You're boring.
hoping we get to block with these Averroes and Sentries. Not bad. We have been playing some unique decks, though, yeah, so that's... Seize the opportunity. Yeah, I can't, I can't complain. We have been playing some unique decks. You'll get yours. Quite good at drawing cards, though. Born for conquest. Look out for reavers. Light the signal fires. Alert the village. Go with the flow. Hmm. Noxion guillotine, eh? Yeah, I think we Leviathan. I don't know. I do want to Noxion Guillotine this Ash. Um, so we know that their top card is going to be like that that arrow. And I could have pilfered goods the arrow. Alright, so let's see. We have... Um, 10 mana total, so I can go Swain plus Pilfer Goods plus Noxion Guillotine. So let's start with Pilfered Goods. And still go Swain Guillotine. Just pass. Let's see. Okay, yeah, because we'd go down to two if they just go to attacks. Or we take two, we'd go to go to one if they attack. No, I have another Ash. Today, Ash, you'll see true leadership. 
yeah, that was the card that... Yeah, another Ash kills us. I mean... We just can't win. Like they have, you know, they just have Reckoning, and then Sejuani, and then another Ash. They just have it all. That's just how it's been. It's like, what's what's the worst card you can imagine? Oh, it's Karina Veraza. Our, our Karma Ezreal opponent just suddenly has a Karina Veraza, so we lose that game. Alright, what's our next... What's the worst card we can imagine? Oh, a Sub Percival that's just five... Five mana, five damage, elusive. What's the worst card we can imagine? Oh, it's just Reckoning. Oh, yeah, well, we'll just, they'll just have a Reckoning. <laughs> We're just losing to the most random stuff. I don't know if these cards beat Demacia. I think I should have stole the arrow. If, yeah, so if I would have stole the arrow, I couldn't play Leviathan. Right, so I would have just stolen arrow and played Guillotine. Flavor and spice. I love a taste of the action. Challenge anything? I was saying they're going to challenge. I was going to have to use transfusion to save. I'm going to steal two cards. Right steel protector warship, say. Some good ones. What? They had that card and they didn't challenge? Oh wait, they can't challenge. Oh right, Tracker. I'm just so used to, you know, Tracker being able to challenge. They couldn't challenge. I just realized that. Right, because Tracker was second. That's fine. They're down to three cards with just that thing. They used a lot of cards to get rid of mine. You know, they just three for two themselves. So that's okay. Smell that? A fight to cook it. The obvious play is just play Protector and get two damage in, but that that is only two damage. Here we go. So we have seven mana. I feel like the better thing to do is use Protector on defense. Be able to like block like this four four. make this attack a lot worse for them. Justice will be served. Oh, maybe it's still not that bad. Reposts. Those could be cool. Yeah, I'm I'm playing these I'm playing these five decks over here, five matches each. 
Um, so each one's about an hour. And so after I finish this up, I'll have a, I'll be playing for about three more hours. Feel the sizzle. Eat up, friend. Approximately. Mm, a delicious challenge. A morsel of so yeah, we're Fire. yeah we're playing against a Fiora deck. They would fall by my blade. Yeah, this repost should be pretty solid. Um, you know, gonna be using the repost on defense. Here, if I play tracker, then I can have double repost. I feel like Demolitionist is a better card to play, Lord though. Empire. And we'll have Repost plus either Fervor or Transfusion. Yuck. This will be quick. They're probably out of single combats. Their second only got three cards. Like they probably don't have that many tricks, like in their deck, right? They've they've already played three. They played a Ranger's Resolve and two single combats, and I stole two Reposts. Ugh. So three. Uh. Why? Hey, Rex. Why do we have to have six mana Sithria also? Yeah, we get in Demacia'd right now. Nothing stands in our way. Cool, yeah, glad yeah, glad you're enjoying it. No, oh no, your truck broke down yesterday? It's terrible news. Sorry to hear about that. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I should have done this transfusion first. Should have done this transfusion first. I'm silly. I don't. I don't know why I didn't do that first. Obviously. I, it's just better to get this damage in. Like I know, like that was a mistake, of course. I could have had the. Could have had the War Chefs alive still, but I'm not going to... I don't think I'd take six damage to keep that War Chefs alive at that point. I, I think you gotta... Like, I gotta just bite the bullet. Yeah, and people in the chat are saying she's going to see her first, yeah. That was my bad. But once the mistake happened, I wasn't going to make another mistake and then transfusion the, um, you know, the other way around. Vi stands for violence. Make them 
Mistakes are going to be made. That, that, that's just kind of how, how it is. But once once you make a mistake and you realize you make a mistake, try not to save face, quote unquote, and make another mistake to try to not show your opponent that, you know, try try not to like look good and be and and be like, well, I don't want to let my opponent know that I made this mistake, and therefore I'll make this other mistake to make my other decision look better. Don't do that, just make make your best decision moving forward. No, no, Niclofay, no. My opponent's not gonna unyielding this Vi, because I can't beat that, so don't, don't say that they're gonna unyielding this Vi. Don't say that. You just shame concede instantly when you misplay. <laughs> Any misplay, just automatic shame concede. Yeah, you can. Uh, I'm, I'm sure somebody in chat has a good has a good suggestion for you of what to replace Vi with in Karina Control. But Karina Control used to, you know, before like Karina Control was a good deck before the newest set came out and before Vi was released. So you just look at like the old list of like what people play. You know, people only used to use Elise as the only champion in that deck. Riptide Rex, is it a play or a summon? That's a play. Yeah, I guess all the plunder stuff is play. I don't have to worry about turning on plunder. All right, what's this card? Strength and grace. Tis a Fiora. Is. All right, well, we got one on the board. We got one on the board. The ocean wins again. The ocean wins again. So, yeah, what's the difference is... Um, being summoned means just basically put on on the board and that's that's what being summoned means and so like our riptide rex was just summoned there whenever we killed the vi we summoned the riptide rex this plunder trigger um when it's when played it's that means when from your hand you spend the mana and you actually play it so that's the only time this would would it trigger. So I don't know. I don't I don't necessarily think our deck is bad. 
we just had like a lot of weird circumstances and us losing games. Did feel like we could use like some more card draw? Kind of question mark. Some more card draw. We were missing on Grifter all the time early. That last game we hit on Grifter a couple of times and it definitely helped us win. Um, but yeah, our first game, you know, we whiffed all, you know, we were 0 for 3 on Yordle Grifter that game one, which really hurts. And then, yeah, we just lost to some really random cards, you know, like the Karina Veraza destroyed us, Sub Percival, Reckoning. Those were our other three three games, you know, and, and four games. It was just kind of weird things happen. 0 for 3 Grifter on one, and then a Karina Veraza we're not expecting at all, then a Reckoning, you know, with the complete curve out. Like those games three and four. My opponents had, you know, the top like five five percent maybe of their hands, maybe top two percent possible hands. Like they they really crushed at games three and four. But yeah, so I, I don't I don't necessarily think this is a bad deck. We just, you know, just lost some games. That happens. Uh question if you could only nerf one card, what would it be and why? I don't think there necessarily needs to be, like, I would be fine with nothing being nerfed. I, I do think that it's very, pretty even playing field as far as, like, balancing seven regions and everything. I think that, that honestly, it's, it's pretty balanced throughout. Choose one card, like, probably the, the one card that's looking like it's above everything else right now would be Vi. I don't know if you would ask me like two weeks ago, I would say like, you know, like burn was like kind of everywhere and like maybe boom crew turned into a one three. And so, you know, maybe in like another week or two, you know, that would change kind of thing. So I don't know, but like right now it's like, it's Vi, the, the tough, the five, five health and the toughness on Vi. And that card is so good. Do I think unyielding is balanced as burst? I mean, it would be unplayable if it was anything else, right? I guess maybe not. Maybe it'd be playable as fast. Maybe. Yeah, it I don't. I don't know if a card like that is necessarily balanced. I don't really know, like, what the... What the upside of printing a card like that is, I guess. I don't know. You, you could do some crazy stuff with that, with, like, powder kegs and things like that. Like, that's cool. But anyway, there we go. That's Fizz Swain. Um, a unique combination of champions. And a fun deck to, to play out. So if you if you're a big fan of Fizz and Swain together, you know, I think I think this is a good deck, even though we went one and four. Like the record doesn't always show how good a deck is. Alright, um, yeah, you'd be really happy if Unyielding just didn't exist. Yeah, I don't really know what the upside of printing that card was. Like I, like, I don't know what their goal with that card was. Like, it's just kind of a card that you... Like, there's some some cards that you just kind of look at and you're like, just what? All, all it... Like, it, it just... Like, it's the kind of card that produces a lot more negativity than positivity. You know, like, that's a card that's, that you really don't want to play against. And it, it can produce a, a whole bunch of, like, bad-feeling games of... Like, you're doing, you're doing just fine and they put an unyielding on, you know, whatever. You know, like a you know, name whatever they put it unyielding on and then you just can't deal with it and you just lose and um and it's just a it's a real bad feeling so i don't i mean there are some cool things to do like i said like with putting that on on powder kegs that's awesome i don't as like a you know i feel like that's not a net positive to the game though <laughs> Unyielding feels great when your opponent plays it and you have Will of Ionia, right? Sure. Sure, I mean... Yeah, I mean, it's it's not all negative. You know, it's not... And it's not like it... They, you know, I'm... 
pounding my fist saying that it needs to go away or it needs to change or anything like that. It's just like if I was if I was in charge of you know like printing the cards, it's probably just not one that I would have would have printed. Just in general. All right, anyway, let's go to our champion list elusives. Let's get to that deck up next. Those y'all watching on YouTube, hit that vid hit that like button over there and leave those comments. I really appreciate those. If you have any other ideas for Fizz Swain, feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, and uh, I guess like if, if there's anything that you really want to change for this uh, upcoming Tuesday, the next uh, balance patch, what would you do? Let me know. All right, thanks for watching some Fizz Swain, though, and I'll see you for the next video.